Section 2 Components of an IoT Solution In this section, we will take a relook at our earlier case study of Joy Global and see if we can identify the components of the long wall mining IoT system. Then, we will learn about sensors and actuators and see how these transducers form an integral part of an IoT system. Next, we will learn about the IoT devices that help in processing the sensor data and transferring the same to the cloud. After that, we will take a look at some of the interesting IoT platforms available today that can help us rapidly prototype an IoT solution. Lastly, we will see how all these pieces of the IoT jigsaw puzzle fit together to form a complete solution. Video A relook at Joy Global Case Study To offer mining as a service through its long wall system, Joy Global requires the ability to remotely monitor and fix the mining system. The only way the company could offer such a commercial service is when it can continuously monitor and analyze how the equipment is used by their mining clients. Joy Global needs enough data from the equipment to identify potential performance failures so that they can carry out predictive maintenance activities. They also need a way to analyze the data from the equipment and the environment to extract insights that can add value to their clients. The things The long wall mining system uses over 7000 sensors to monitor and control system performance. The system also has numerous actuators like onboard motors and hydraulic functions. The system has a processor that processes this data and transfers the process data to the cloud. Connecting the things Joy Global uses a proprietary wireless system that is used for close proximity data transmission underground. For connecting equipment throughout the mines to computers located on the surface, fiber optic and copper data cables are used. For longer distances, fiber optic and power line modem communication systems are used. Data collection. The data is collected in a time series database. Data is collected from equipment on multiple control platforms. A number of technologies are integrated into the solution including Honeywell's Asset Manager, Microsoft's Azure, Verizon's Managed Hosting, and PTC's ThingWorks. Learn What does Joy Global do with all the data collected from the sensors of the mining equipment? What kind of analysis is performed on this data? And how does this data analysis add value? The long wall mining system has shearers and for the life cycle management of these shearers, oil analysis and vibration analysis are performed. Over 30 plus parameters are used for oil analysis. If there is no oil analysis data, then the usual practice is to change the oil every 3000 miles. But such a method is rather simplistic. Oil analysis helps Joy Global identify when the oil needs to be actually changed. Sometimes it is earlier than the standard 3000 miles and other times it is later but in either case it is an informed decision making that anticipates and minimizes machine failure. Data from historic failures and theoretical predictions are compared with sensor data for early warning and failure predictions. Onboard vibration analysis helps identify potential machine problems and pinpoint the location of the problem. The vibration analysis data is analyzed and compared to vibration signatures of other Joy Global machines to glean insights. The cost of a long wall mining system being offline amounts to over $10,000 per minute. When the cost of machine downtime is so high, predictive maintenance through data analytics and machine learning adds significant value to the mining operations of the client.
and can make all the difference between whether mining as a service is a profitable or a loss making business model let us quickly look at the components of the iot system of this case study firstly we have the things the sensors the actuators and the computing units next we have the connectivity this addresses how the sensors will connect and transfer the data to the processors and how the processors will move the data to the cloud next comes the data collection part of the system how often is the data collected how long is the collected data kept and where is it stored and in what format will the data be collected and stored in a sql a no sql or a time series architecture then we have the part of the iot system that learns from the data this involves data analytics and machine learning and the last piece of the puzzle is what does the iot solution do after the learning this do is the real value add of the iot solution as you can see while the things are an integral part of the iot the internet of things is not about the things per se it is about the learn and do part of the system what are the insights that are gathered from the data generated by the things and what business value can such insights add these are important